Hello everyone, welcome back to What Matters and New Summaries. Now before we begin this week's episode, I've got a special announcement this week for Sophie Sedwick, my course mate and friend who's just set up a brand new YouTube channel specialising in lifestyle, uni stuff and fashion. She's got two videos up at the moment, they're really entertaining and really well edited as well. She's a real natural in front of the camera, so do go check her out. The link to her channel is below. Turn those post notifications on because she's uploading weekly apparently, so um, do keep an eye on that because it's brilliant. So, with that being said, let's get on with the news. So. Starting on Monday, the hunt is on for meteorite fragments that are likely to have fallen to Earth over Cheltenham on Saturday night. The area was analysed using a computer modelling system and scientists are asking if anyone finds what they think is a meteorite to photograph it and take a note of the GPS coordinates. Between 10 and 20 meteorites fall to the ground each year in the UK, but it's very rare any are actually found. On Tuesday, BBC3 will return to TV screens with a fully-fledged TV channel after moving online six years ago. This is coming in January 2022. The channel has been responsible for major hits including Fleabag, Normal People and Killing Eve. I can vouch for Normal People, that's brilliant. I don't know if any of you have seen any of the others. When it returns, BBC3 will be targeting 16 to 34 year olds, broadcasting from 7pm through to 4pm each day, changing the CBBC broadcast hours to finish at 7pm instead of 9pm like it does now. This will need permission, however, from the media regulator Ofcom, of course. On Wednesday, the airline Qantas is launching Mystery, Fri Mystery Flight sorry, in an effort to boost domestic tourism across Australia. The day trips where passengers don't know the destination will be boarding from Brisbane, Melbourne or Sydney and start from £413, which is roughly 737 Australian dollars. The all-day packages include activities such as winemaking, gourmet dinner eating, uh, snorkeling on tropical islands as well. Obviously, it's a great initiative to boost the economy, but come on, Qantas, more carbon miles, you're better than that. I'm not too sure, but, you know, the economy's in the right state, so, you know, I, I, I admit we have to make the money back somehow. On Thursday, nurses' union anger over pit pitiful 1% NHS pay rise. The Royal College of London called for nurses to be getting paid 12.5% more than they do now. Some 1.3 million public sector workers will see a pay freeze next year, earning whilst those, sorry, earning less than £24,000 will be guaranteed a rise of at least £250. The NHS pay review body is due to recommend salary levels for health service staff before early May, before ministers make a final decision. We all know how fantastic our NHS has been throughout this pandemic. I think 1% is a real sort of kick in the teeth, if I'm honest. So um, despite the state of the economy, we need to be recognising those who have put their lives and uh, put their life put their lives on the line really uh, throughout the last year so yeah on Friday Friday's news story is a positive one but it's not really for this farmer who fell in a 60 foot sinkhole on his quad bike in Cumbria he was recovered in a two and a half hour operation involving fire crew and mountain rescue of volunteers the man in his 70s was then airlifted to hospital for treatment on his chest and back injuries there's, an er there's a number of early 19th century disused iron mines in the area making sinkholes a never present threat on Saturday, for some of the most deprived areas in England, January was the deadliest month on record since the pandemic began. Focusing specifically here on Burnley in Lancashire, where ONS figures show in the town from deaths from the deaths in the town from COVID, sorry, were higher in January than the first peak in April last year. The government claims it's committed to levelling up by spending so far 100 billion on welfare support schemes. Still, however, the COVID mortality rate in Burnley was higher than the English average and deaths from all causes were 60% higher than the English average. And on Sunday, you know, if you know me, litter is my pet peeve and this may have the solution for it. So here we go. CCTV cameras will soon have a new target. People who litter, you better watch yourselves. AI software can match footage of motors throwing rubbish out of their cars to their car number plate and automatically issue a £90 fine. The first trial of this potentially controversial system will begin in Mainstone in Kent in a few weeks. Personally, I think it's brilliant. If you've done nothing wrong and you dispose of your litter responsibly, you've got nothing to worry about. However, we can no longer trust people in our local communities to take care of them, so I feel like it does have to be policed. Now, that's all the news from this week. I hope you've had a fantastic week. If there's any stories you want more information on, do go below because I leave the link, the full links to all the articles I use. And uh, I hope you all have a fantastic week and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.